Dems, they really believe that black people need benevolent white people like them in the government to help them out because they, they just can't do things on their own. They can't make it without them. And so they need the benevolent hand of government. And usually that comes in the form of an old white guy, occasionally an old white woman, but normally an old white guy to come down there and to lift them up because they just, they can't make it without them. As a conservative and a libertarian and a small government minded kind of person, I believe, no, black people are just as smart as white people. They can make it with the same things that we do. Hey, fellow tacticians. Be sure to like this video and subscribe and ring that little notification bell. That supports this channel's conservative content, which is good for me, good for you, good for America, but really bad for the dark cyber overlords at YouTube. No, you messed it up. <laughs> You're stupid. And for today's Daily Dose of Stupid, we are going to be featuring the one and only, the President of the United States. Joseph Robinette Biden. And I use the middle name specifically here because remember that Robinette is his middle name because it is his mother's maiden name, which by the way, comes from a family of slave owners. Now, I tend to not think that having slave owners in your family's past is something to be ashamed of because, you know, they're your ancestors. You can't control what they did. But apparently the left feels that this is very important and, and this is really problematic, yet they elected a guy who comes from a family of slave owners. So, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And, and I re the reason that I iterate that in this particular Daily Dose of Stupid, because we're going to be talking about Joe Biden's racism. Not racism of the past, not all of his racial flubs. That he, No, just this week, we're going to talk about just his racism happening this week, and there is actually quite a few incidents of that, so we're going to sort of lump them all into one big Daily Dose of Stupid, and the first incident of this happened earlier this week where he was talking about um, a program, a government program, to try to assist black people that are incapable of getting a home, apparently. Yeah, it's best if you just watch. Shockingly, the percentage of black American home ownership is lower today in America than when the Fair Housing Act was passed more than 50 years ago. <gasps> lower today. That's wrong. And we're committed to changing that. You know what, Joe Biden, for, for all my poking fun at his problems with public speaking and his word selection, I actually think he, he really hit the nail on the head. That is shocking. It's so shocking that all of the crappy government programs that were supposed to help black people over the past 50 years did nothing. It's funny. He's actually, I don't, he doesn't even realize it, but he's arguing against his own point. He's saying, do you realize that more black people owned homes before we started a program to assist black people in owning homes? That's what conservatives have been saying forever. The government programs don't work, genius. I, I, I love this because he's like, shockingly, it's, it's even worse than it was before there were protections for this kind of thing. What does that tell you? That means that even before government got involved with housing, and even in the 60s, in the middle of the civil rights movement, where there really were a lot of racial animus going on, and it was legal to be racist, you as a landowner could go out and be like, oh, that black family wants a house? Well, they can't have it because I don't like black people. Back when that was legal, it was still better for black people than today, 50 years later, after we have sunk $50 trillion into the war on poverty, much of it specifically aimed at black people because Lyndon Baines Johnson worked that in. Most of it specifically aimed at helping black people and giving preference to them. 50 years later, black home ownership is lower. You know who's not shocked about that? every free market capitalist in history because that's how it works when the government gets involved 
and makes people dependent upon the government, it doesn't help them. It hurts them and it holds them back. We blew $50 trillion. Now keep in mind, the cost of every American war combined from the Revolutionary War to the wars that are going on today with the troops that are stationed over in the Middle East. All of that combined cost us $7 trillion. We spent $50 trillion on the war on poverty since LBJ, and poverty is still at the same, and black home ownership is down, not up, from where it was in the 60s. But that's how Joe Biden is, and it's ironic that he's using that as a rationale for coming up with new government programs that cost more money that are designed to help black people just like the program that he just mentioned 50 years later has done the opposite. And somehow he thinks that this helps his case for why we need these government programs and government spending today. Joe Biden's a moron. And anybody that has any shred of critical thinking in their brain can look at, not even look at other sources, not even do research. Look at the stats that Joe Biden himself lists in his own speech and tell that that doesn't make any sense. That's where we are today, guys. And I think that it's funny that Democrats have followed this pattern for a very long time. They make a problem, and then they claim that they need more power and more money and more control to be able to fix the problem that they made. That black housing is actually lower now that they've had 50 years and $50 trillion to try to fix that problem and they're saying, you know what the problem is? We need more money, more power, more control, and we need more time to be able to fix this problem. No, you've had 50 years. You've had $50 tr trillion. You've had enough. It's not working. We're done. That's what the American people should be saying to Joe Biden when he proposes stuff like this. Now, this next one, I had to include it because we're doing a daily dose of stupid. It's not racist. It doesn't really have anything to do with race like the last one where Joe Biden apparently thinks that black people are incapable of doing things on their own and so they need a lot of government programs for them to come in and fix it. This one's not racist. It's just dumb and funny. And because of that, it has a lot of entertainment value. So uh, watch this clip and see if you can actually tell what the crap Joe Biden is saying. Not try to reason it out or ration out. Just tell me if you can actually understand the words coming out of his pie hole. Just imagine if instead of denying millions of Americans the ability to own their own home. What? 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 Play that again. Just imagine if instead of denying millions of Americans the ability to own their own home. American, just imagine, own their own home. Okay, Wait, what? what did he just say? Look, Donald Trump was not the world's greatest communicator. Now, Obama was pretty darn good. Uh, now, he, he couldn't really go off script or, or live without a teleprompter, but the man, when he was on point, he was a fantastic communicator, socialist as he may be. Donald Trump was not the world's most skilled communicator by any stretch of the imagination, but the words that he said were actually understandable. Now, you may have disagreed with it, you may have said he, he made that point in a way that was insensitive or it wasn't smart to present the message that way, but you actually did understand the words coming out of his mouth. Joe Biden has checked out on us. He is not there, gang. President Houseplant ha has left the building. The lights are on, but nobody's on. So I just thought y'all would get a kick out of that. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next clip. Apparently, Joe Biden doesn't think that black people understand that they need lawyers and accountants if they're going to run a business? That, the data shows young black entrepreneurs are just as capable of succeeding given the chance as white entrepreneurs are. But they don't have lawyers. They don't have, they, they, they don't have accountants. Really? But they have great ideas. Does anyone doubt this whole nation would be better off? from the investments those people make, and I promise you, that's why I set up the National Small Business Administration that's much broader, because they're gonna get those loans. I mean, that is incredibly demeaning and racist. He's like, yeah, the, the thing is, black people, they're just as competent, 
just as able to succeed and just as smart and have just as good ideas as white people. But, but the problem is they just, you know, they don't have lawyers and they don't have accountants. I would think part of being a business person and being competent and, and being able to conduct business would mean you understand that you have to have accountants and you, you have to have lawyers. I mean, to me, that would be part of being a good business owner. But you notice he gives no stats, nothing to back up this idea that black business owners just don't have those things. Um, I actually have really good friends that are black business owners that are friends of mine that have even been sponsors of my show. I guarantee you they have lawyers and they have accountants to help them run their business and they're very successful just as successful as their white counterparts. But <laughs> Joe Biden's rationale for why overall, generally speaking, black people are not as successful as white people is because they, they don't have lawyers and accountants. I, I, I don't think that's the case. And I don't think that he can provide any stat that backs that up. I just think that it's so weird that Biden and the Democrats in general tend to be so racist and think so little of black people, and yet black people overwhelmingly vote for them. You remember when Joe Biden was saying that black people are basically just not smart enough to get voter IDs, and that's the reason that it's unfair, and that's the reason it's voter suppression to require a voter ID when you're going to confirm that someone is a citizen that's supposed to be voting. They're like, yeah, well, well black people don't have IDs. Um, which black people do you know that don't have driver's licenses? I live in Montgomery. We're 70% black. Everybody I know has a driver's license. All of them. Over 16, of course. I don't, I don't know any people, black, white, whatever, that don't have driver's licenses. And he was saying that, well, you can't, we were saying you don't even have to pass a driver's test. You can just get a regular non-voter ID. And, and Joe Biden's answer to that conservative talking point was, well, yeah, but they can't, they can't get to a computer and they can't like go down to their local library and and fill it out, and they, they're just not smart enough to do that. I'm like, how dumb do they think black people are? Voting is not that hard. It's actually super simple. I wish it were more complicated, to be honest. Um, but this idea that black people just aren't smart enough to get IDs and aren't smart enough to know where to go to vote and all these things, or they, they can't go down to their they don't have internet access, or if they don't, if they actually legitimately don't have internet access, they can't go down to a free local library and use the internet. They're not smart enough to do that. Like Democrats must think black people are just morons, but that's not the last racist thing Joe Biden said this week. We have one more clip of him. In the spirit of meeting people where they are, we'll also be working with the Black Coalition Against COVID and other organizations to launch a new initiative called Shots at the Shop. Barbershops, beauty shops, are hubs of activity and information in black and brown communities in particular, but in many communities across the nation. Local barbers, stylists, they become key advocates for vaccinations in their communities, offering information to customers, booking appointments for them, even using their own businesses as vaccination sites. We're gonna work with shops across the country to make an even bigger impact over the next month. Now, I don't think that there's anything inherently racist about saying that we need to launch them in barbershops. I think it's a little weird and hokey. And personally, as someone who tends to be very libertarian, I don't like the fact that the government is handling the vaccine rollout anyway. But just kind of leaving all that aside at the table, because I know that Joe Biden doesn't share that sentiment. That in and of itself is not what I'm saying is racist here. It's the same kind of low expectations that we saw sort of implied in the last clip. He's saying, look, black people are spending a lot of time at the barber shop, and we know that they tend to hang out around there. So what we're going to do is, because black people are just not smart enough to get the vaccine on their own or know where to go to get them or you know when they're supposed to make appointments, we're just going to have to to baby them a little bit and cater to them. So we're going to send these vaccination sites out to the barber shops to try to use that as a, a form of community outreach. I'm sorry, that's stupid. Black people don't need that. If a black person hasn't got a vaccine, do you know what I assume? They don't want the vaccine. Now, I might disagree with that decision. I might think that they actually do need the vaccine. 
I might advise them to do so. I've advised people in my own family to get the vaccine. I don't really see the need for me to get it because, you know, I'm 32 years old at very low risk, that kind of thing. But the older people in my family, sure, I've told them to go ahead and get vaccinated. And I don't have a, I'm not anti-vax, but if I see a black person and the black person knows that they're available, he's eligible to get one, knows he can get one for free, and he hasn't got one, Joe Biden apparently thinks, oh, well, see, the thing is the government hasn't come there and held his hand to be able to give him the vaccine. You know what I assume? I was like, he probably doesn't want the vaccine. If he hasn't gone to get it, I imagine it's just not real important to him. And I'm fine with that. Even if I disagree with his decision, it's his decision to make. I don't assume that he's so incompetent that he hasn't figured out how to get a free vaccine yet. And that's the thing that is just so mind-blowing to me, is that there's such a low bar of expectation for black people coming from Democrats. And I also find this pretty darn funny too. Joe Biden has been saying all this time, we gotta, we gotta, you know, trust the experts, trust the science, man. Come on. Trust, you know, yeah. I mean, that's what Joe Biden says all the time. We got to trust the experts and trust the science. Like your barber for medical advice. <laughs> It'd be one thing if he was just putting up the stations in there, but you heard him in that speech. He was saying, yeah, the barber shops, they're key uh, spaces for information. And we're going to, we're going to have barbers telling people about how to get the vaccine. It's like, you sure your barber should be giving you advice on what vaccines and medications to be taking? I kind of feel like they're not really the experts in that particular field. Ultimately, I think what this does boil down to is Dems, they really believe that black people need benevolent white people like them in the government to help them out because they, they just can't do things on their own. They can't make it without them. And so they need the benevolent hand of government. And usually that comes in the form of an old white guy, occasionally an old white woman, but normally an old white guy to come down there and to lift them up because they just, they can't make it without them. As a conservative and a libertarian and a small government minded kind of person, I believe, no, black people are just as smart as white people. They can make it with the same things that we do. And I would rather us just not have any government assistance at all, because then I believe that the best ideas would rise to the top. And if that person that has the best ideas happens to be white, fine. If they happen to be black, fine with me too. I don't care. I want the best products at the best price, which is why I like free markets. Because the free market doesn't care what color you are. All it does is reward the person that comes up with the best idea for the best price, period, end of discussion. That's what I want. That's fairness. And the reason that I think that that won't hurt the black community is because I believe that black people are just as good at playing the market and have just as good ideas as white people are. See, when I say that, my actions and my belief system actually is indicative of that. It backs up when I make that claim that I actually believe what I'm saying. Joe Biden's is the exact opposite. He says, no, black people are just as competent as white people. They just need all this government assistance to actually help them compete on the same level. Yeah, that's, that's not what being just as competent is. If, if there was a guy that was, you know, for example, um, a really fast runner and a really slow runner, you might look at that person and go, yeah, the really slow runner, he's going to need some help there. But if they were of the same skill level, you wouldn't say either one of them needs help because they're at the same level. And so his, his actions and his ideology does not actually back up what he claims to believe. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you made it all the way to the end, it must mean you like what you saw and should like and subscribe. That or you were just super bored, wound up here by accident, and were too lazy to turn the video off before now. Now, I hope you're the first type of person, but if you happen to be the second type, doesn't really matter to me. I got a view out of you either way. Huh. Profiting off of the laziness of others. This must be what it feels like to be a Democrat.